welcome to get into it with Amina. Yo, as soon as I started this, my energy did like a like a recharge because I'm telling y'all, I've been out of it for the last few days, like really out of it. It's just not feeling like doing nothing. You ever been in the mood where you just don't feel like doing shit? That's where I've been. Like, I don't want to do nothing. But when I come check into my light tribe community, my energy be like, boom, like I'm good. So maybe that's God trying to show me like, this is your call and this is where you need to focus your energy. Because when I try to think about doing anything else besides writing, I don't know. My anxiety goes up like, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Anyway. I'm going to do something really quick. I've been wanting to begin. Um, it's a general channeling. I wanted to have a segment maybe every um, week called, Is This Your Message? And pretty much it would be channeling certain light worker energies that need uh, to get weekly, I guess, messages. And um, they would coincide or resonate with specific people only. And um, yeah, just be a channeled message. You no, know, pick a card. Just me pulling some tarot and just giving you some feedback as to what the hell you need to know. So I'm going to start this off before we get to the pick a card. I'm going to pull four cards for somebody. If this resonates with you, be sure to check out my channel readings because that means the story or whoever I will be focusing on it's going to fit you and it may be something in there that you need to know okay so let's see if you are a part of my light workers that are going to be getting the channel messages bottom of the deck okay so that's great I'm going to show you each card. Don't worry. In the meantime, you can focus on the cards that are here for you to choose from. Okay, so whoever these channel messages are for. Wow. <laughs> wow. You are moving out of the dark into the light. If you could just see how these cards are set up. We have the moon card coming through reverse. With the moon coming through reverse, there's things that you once couldn't see that are going to be rising to the surface now. You're going to start to find clarity. And I think you might have already found some because we have Nafs. Nafs is the devil card. But reverse, it's like you broke the chains. You broke free. You're, you see this window here? You're escaping to the light. You said, whatever is holding me down, you see what it is clearly now. And you are no longer letting that go down. You are breaking those chains and you're going towards your destiny. You in this shot of swords energy, like the king of swords, a man or woman, whatever gender you consider yourself to be. You are in a masculine energy right now, feeling like nobody's going to stop you from speaking your truth. That's what I heard. You're very funny with how you lay it on people, too. Um... You're very intelligent. Like, can't nobody challenge what you say, even though you might say it's my opinion. You know what the hell you'd be talking about. You are no longer wielding. You have your sword in your hand. Like, if I got to cut you, I will. But your guard is down. You're relaxed. You're chilling. Whatever you went through here, you found your way out. Okay. You have, if not already, you're headed towards, I don't think you see it because your back is to it, but you got the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Pentacles coming through. You have major prosperity on the way, but you're someone who just does not see it. You might wish for it, you might want to manifest it, you might talk a good game, but there is something blocking you from seeing this generational wealth that's coming in. And it could be the time you spent in the shadows. Your inner child maybe has gone through some things that was stuck in your vibration for a while. I'm getting that for some of you. Uh, maybe you grew up in poverty and you just cannot see the wealth. Maybe you came up in a family that is highly accomplished and you don't feel you're on that level yet. But I'm here to let you know. 
This is your destiny. So your channel messages most likely will be giving you uh, encouragement towards reaching this. Because this is generational wealth. This is something that you can pass down from generation to generation. Your, your descendants will not know lack. And what you don't see at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. You are leaving something behind and moving towards something way better. She's leaving the dark and going towards the light. So whatever clarity you got in the last few years, maybe six to nine years, you've been going through some stuff. Um, yeah, I feel like six years, the last six years has woken you up. And it's time. The creator feels like it's time for you to get your prosperity. And um, so your channel messages will uh, start possibly next week. I'm trying to pick a day for them, Friday or Saturday, or whenever I just feel moved. Just look out for a uh, channel message for the collective or channel message um, for the light worker. Like it's, it'll be something around there. You'll know it's for you when you see it. But that's what I got for you. To set you off, to let you know whether or not these channel messages are going to be for you. Um, you can also claim it, you know, getting the vibration of someone breaking the chains and moving towards. So now we're ready for the pick a card. Now, today's pick a pile is based off of these cards, but it is going to tell you four blessings that are coming your way now because of the multitude of good things you've done. Now, you know what you've done. You wouldn't be here if you didn't feel like, hey, I deserve some kind of reward. Well, you know, it's okay. I hate when people try to make people feel bad if they want something in return for the energy they put out. I will not judge you here. I will not say you should Oh, you should just give all your energy. You should just do and expect nothing in return. Um, if you're doing something and you're doing it from the kindness of your heart and the per no one asked you to do it. Yeah. Why are you looking for something in return? You weren't asked. You were doing a service from your open hearted self. <laughs> now, if someone comes to you and asks you for a service right then and there to me, you need to make it clear if you're going to expect something because otherwise if you're looking like where's the gratitude later and you're not getting it uh, there's not much you can do or say about it but yeah why not expect people to be grateful and thankful why not because people should that is the way people should be but the point is they're not always like that and that can put you make you feel a little crappy but um Know that the Most High does see what you do and blessings are bestowed upon you in gratitude of your service to humanity. So therefore, if you're drawn here, come and get your four blessings. You can choose power one, the resurrection, maybe holding your blessings. Power two, the emerald, maybe holding your blessings. Pile three, which is led by Astral House, the Tea Leaf Cup Pile, maybe holding your blessings. And then we have Hawk. And this is my uh, Messenger of the Spirit Oracle Pile that may be holding your blessings. So, Messenger of Spirits, Tea Leaf, this is Magdalene Oracle, and um, Crystal Spirits. Take a deep breath in and select your. Power. I'll be back with power one. Hey, power one. All right. You felt drawn to the resurrection. So I'm going to tell you right now, I do feel like you are at a period in your life where you're like, something has got to give. Maybe you're facing a disappointment, um, something that you really wanted, something that you're really trying to manifest, and it just has not been working out the way you wanted it to work out. Uh, you're at a point where you're about to see a glow up. So, you know, things often go downhill before they go up. Because if you're already up, you know, you're at the top. So, yeah, you're going to have a moment of being down to go up again. 
And um, you are about to find yourself feeling resurrected. Maybe a new burst of energy towards something that once you felt like, mm, I'm going to give up. They want you to find a new way, a new direction towards whatever it is you're trying to manifest. There's another way to go about doing what you're doing. Either you're doing too much or you're doing too little. And um, they want you to reassess and um, cut down on whatever is the extreme and go about it from another angle. Okay, that was just a tip for you. Let's see what four blessings you got coming in. So you have... Par paradigm shift. Who your whole life is about to change. This is a huge transformational blessing coming in. You are going to find yourself being welcomed into uh, knowing knowledge and secrets and things that um that are for a chosen few is what I'm hearing. You're have, going through like a radical growth in your belief system. So now is the time where you'll find yourself challenging your old attitudes, questioning old things that you expected or believed. You're like in a, a major, a major time in your life right now. And you can make huge leaps forward. But everything you once knew right now is like coming apart and a whole new world is being welcomed in. Okay, and this is your light workers oracle blessing. So you're about to be opened up to a whole new world spiritually. What else we got coming through for power one? Earth angel. Wow. I do feel like you are earth angel. You're someone who's given a lot of yourself. And um, earth angels can tend to feel taken for granted sometimes. Like they give a lot. They don't see a lot come back, you know, Um <laughs> So you tend to want to um, cut that energy off. You carry the world on your shoulders. And at this time, one of the blessings you're getting is that you're going to get some divine guidance. You're going to have a guardian angel with you watching, who's already watching over you and assisting you. But they are going to be, really be responding to your heart's call for help, love and protection of you and your beloved people on this planet. They've heard your prayers, okay? So the blessing is that your answers are on the way, okay? Your answers are on the way. You are being protected at this time. What are the blessing we got from our power ones? Energy of love. Behold the world through the eyes of love. Wow. Now that's a deep blessing. Comes from Sufi wisdom. Let me see. I should be able to fit all of your blessings in a row. All right. And I'm going to go to the book for this one. This is really meant to be a uh, reading that opens you up intuitively I had decided I wasn't going to do but so much channeling. I really wanted you guys to tap in and find the message that's meant for you. So I will go to the book from time to time. So for energy of love, it says, behold the world through the eyes of love. Impoverished is the one who identifies the beloved with trade. Destitute is the one who wants the beloved for status or as a sign of affluence. Foolish is the one who wants to keep the beloved only for the self. And that's a quote from I'm sorry. So one of the blessings you're getting is the ability to open your heart to the true value of love in your life. You will start to experience more love coming towards you. Um, and, and especially through the divine is what I'm hearing. When you feel that divine love within your heart, then it just flows through you and your creativity even uh, gets heightened. So you can you should take some time to congratulate yourself on this blessing because you're also going to be blessed with an unconditional love coming in from a lover, not just from supporters and friends and family. Um, there's like a sacred light that you're being surrounded with at this time. 
It's anointing and blessing everyone around you and someone is coming in for you. So yes, it could be a little bit of an overwhelming feeling, but embrace it. What else have blessings are coming in that you've probably been asking for? Wow. Trip the light. Fantastic. Dance with the universe. She looks like she is in a waterfall of just spiritual light energy. Freaking beautiful this card is. Um, it gives me a lot of... Uh, um, the bum root chakra energy. I've never seen this card before, though, honestly. It just makes me feel like you need to be dancing free. You need to be following your heart. So what's the blessing with this? Okay, the universe is going to be sending you some nudges. Um, and all you need to do is trust and surrender to the rhythm of the universe, the flow of the universe. You're going to naturally know when to move forward, when to surrender, when to stop. You are going to feel more in sync with the universe's guidance. Um, I do see you becoming more sensual as well. It just I just get a very much um, loving the body I'm in type energy and feeling very sexy and beautiful and sensual and it being seen in your every move and how you dress. Um, so... When you dance with the universe, you don't really have to figure out and worry about what move will come next because the universe is guiding you. Opportunities are going to come into you. So just express yourself, be you, your sensual, passionate self, and watch what is meant for you come in towards you. That is the blessing you're getting. The ability to uh, call in and attract to you exactly what it is you deserve and you need. That's what I got for you, my power ones. Love you guys. Sending you much luck as you enjoy each of these blessings that are coming your way for good deeds done. Peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. Later. Hey, Pow 2, or those drawn to the Emerald Spirit card. Hmm. When I look at the emerald, the first thing I thought was Gemini energy. I don't know, because I guess that's their birthstone. It always makes me think of, um, and then you get the number 22, which makes me think of two sides. So I do feel you're coming, you're growing into who you truly are. Like, and maybe you feel split because you have to leave people behind, but 22 is a master manifesting number. It does feel like new friends coming in and having to open your heart to this and releasing friends and people that no longer serve you. Yeah, it's a time for you to do your healing, to let go of what no longer serves you. But from a frequency of love. Hmm. I do see uh, partnership issues arising for you at this time. And that, I'm talking about like relationships. Hmm. And just moving in the energy of love. Thinking what would love do before making your choices and decisions and moves. Okay. So what are your four blessings? First one from the Lightworkers Oracle. Alchemical Mutation. All these people going through huge transformations in the tribe. My God. Our chemical transformation has a lot to do with connecting to the earth and using the earth to heal, to change um, certain aspects of yourself. It's about spiritual growth. And it's very real. And, and it's all about fulfilling your divine destiny. Like your spiritual talents are awaking and attracting in new energies through your connection to the earth. So the blessings you're getting is your body is going to start to feel more radiance, more lightness, more clairvoyant vision. You may feel way more intuitive. 
um, you're going to start to really see the light in people and the lack of light. Um, your spiritual abilities are going to become grounded in your body where you can heal yourself and and others as well. If you truly, truly have faith and believe in these abilities, it's like stepping out of the material world and into the divine light of the spiritual world. You're being given a great gift of love. So you may feel headaches. You might feel a little sick as you go through this transformation. But it's an up-leveling where you will find you need more sleep, more time for the body to heal and repair. Um, you just have to keep yourself cool and calm. Your body's just going through. A, you're being blessed with a, a leveling up physically. You know, third eye opening up. Um, heightened awareness of your purpose on the planet, deeper connection to the earth. That is a great blessing. You also have, she is the moon. So maybe a, uh, you're also getting blessed with uh, something being revealed. I do feel that maybe you've been wondering about and some kind of attention coming your way as well. So something you've been waiting on that you've been very patient about, it's going to come in soon is the blessing that I'm hearing, okay? Your manifestation is unfolding in perfect timing. If you feel something isn't happening fast enough or it's happening quickly and you're unsure if you're really ready, just rest assured everything is well, everything is flowing. So something is coming in now. And whether you feel ready for it or not, it's something that you wanted. And it's something that I do feel is going to bring attention to you. It's going to shine a light on you. So just trust and wait and see what the moon is going to reveal. What other blessing do you have? Live in the moment. What you are looking for is with you. So you're also being blessed with the ability to see, I'm sorry, I want to make sure everything's going to fit, the ability to see that you have to live. You can't sit around and just wait either for this blessing to come in. So I want to go to the book for this, live in the moment. What exactly are they telling you? Be drunk, for you know not whence you came, nor why. Stay drunk, for you know not why you go, nor where. Quote by Omar Khayyam. Okay. So a soft voice wants to remind you that you are, that what you're looking for is already within you. So I did, we got that point. The blessing is to just be able to be you. That's pretty much it. Just feel alive. Live in the moment without worrying about what's to come. Something is coming. Something is manifesting that you've been trying to manifest, but they want you to, they, they're giving you a, a gift of being able to focus on what is happening right now, experiencing it fully. And the more you're focused on the present, the better you're able to live each moment that comes your way instead of missing moments because you're looking so far in the future or you're sitting so far back in the past. You're getting blessed with an opportunity to recharge, renew, and to learn to use your energy to enjoy whatever it is you're doing in each moment. So stay positive, stay optimistic, and live your life to the fullest. Make every moment count. You may be pushed to be more spontaneous, too. And your last blessing. Say yes to your higher calling. Be a human exclamation mark. <laughs> I love that. Isn't this a beautiful picture? You have uh, so many spheres of light in your blessing cards. It feels like the sun and the moon. The sun and the moon on both sides. So it does feel very transformational. Um, some kind of transformation or change you've gone through that is being acknowledged at this time. 
that's why you're getting your blessings. You've done the work. Maybe you're in a program. I don't know what you're doing. But, <laughs> all right, say yes to your higher calling. Um, you're being blessed with your, with discovering what it is you're meant to do here. Where you're getting um, equipped with the tools that you'll need. Physically, your body is just changing and becoming more light. Here, you're going to actually be blessed with the knowing. So they're like, you know, pack lightly because you are about to have to free up some space, some time. And embrace a new a new moments that are coming your way. It's like never ending blessings coming in and you can say yes to it all. And then when, when you have when you have to release things and you have to move on, you could do that easily, you know. But you're being blessed with the ability to unattach from things that no longer serve you. And to appreciate every new experience as it comes in, that makes it easier to release them, to make room for new ones. But start to feel the butterflies in your stomach and the love welling up within you because saying yes to what is coming in is a blessing in itself. It's going to lead you to the perfect people, perfect places, perfect situations for your maximum growth spiritually. And you're ready. So I do see a blessing of a travel, a trip as well coming for you, literally traveling. Okay. And those are the four blessings coming your way, my pal twos. I hope that you like this video. I hope it resonated with you in some way and you will subscribe if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back. See you next time. Peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. Later. Hey, pal three. Okay, you were drawn to choose the Astro House Tea Leaf Cup cards. Let's see what's up with you. What house are you in right now? You are in the house of career. So your primary focus at this time is going to be your career. And I think you've done a lot of great, good things in your career. And that's what these blessings are stemming from. We have Four Leaf Clover. Great good fortune. Wow. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. Be careful of contracts, I'm hearing. People might um, make you sign up for and agree to things that are not in your best interest. So be careful about that. What well, other warnings? We got teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So um, that may be the person who tries to do it. Uh, someone who feels like they're a very good friend of yours um, of the same sex or gender as you. And crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So some of you are going to be conceiving. Some of you are going to be giving birth. Some of you are going to be doing that literally with a child or you will be doing it with something new in business. Okay. Let's see what your four blessings are because those are some great blessings and some heads up as well. So my light worker. Trust in the plan. One of the things you're being blessed with is the ability to relax and know that everything is working out exactly the way it should. Trust in the plan, light worker. Okay. So, in preparation for this radical growth that you're doing, there could be some temporary moments where you feel chaotic. Um, because you're letting go of things and letting in new things and you start to worry and you start to second guess and stuff. Um, you start to think maybe I'm making a wrong choice. Maybe I don't, maybe this thing's supposed to happen. Maybe this, maybe that. Though you might feel out of control during this time, do not, don't resist the process. Okay. There's no need to attempt to push your way upon things to make them go a certain way. You don't need to look for the answer for everything because there's no problem that needs to be solved. What has been is being moved out your way. And you don't have to do nothing in preparation for the next chapter of your life. So all you have to do is release fear, have faith. Everything is going exactly the way it needs to go. Things are being moved out of your life. That is the blessing for you right now is that you get to stay true to your spiritual principles. You get to trust in an unfolding of a higher plan for you and you don't have to worry. You don't have to do anything. Just watch 
as things slowly leave your life, they no longer serve, and slowly come in. And I'm not even getting slowly. I feel like this is all happening right now. Okay? Everything is happening for a greater purpose. Just flow with the changes. Keep, stay open, stay trusting. Okay? Yeah, because you're going to be resurrected after this moment of maybe feeling like you're at a pause while the plan takes form. <laughs> so you're being blessed with the ability to just trust. You ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to hurt nobody's feelings. You don't have to do a thing because spirit is doing everything for you. Ushering them out and ushering them. Your next card, coming together. I got this card recently this week, so maybe this is my pal. Wow. Coming together is all about feeling a distance from something or someone you really love. So, and I say something because you're in the house of career. So it could be coming together with your higher purpose, which is like the career or job of your dreams, or with someone that you sincerely miss and are in love with. Um, I do feel like it's a karmic destiny you're being blessed with. You are being blessed with finding your your path, your destiny, your higher purpose, opportunities that are coming in for you at this time are what you are meant to be doing. Any that don't feel comfortable are not for you. And you're realizing that also you're not for everyone. And those that are coming in towards you at this time are the ones you are meant to be around. You're being blessed with guidance. It's like double guidance. Okay. You're going to find yourself moved by love to do things, to go places. And, and you're being told again, don't force anything. All right. Enjoy the experience and know it serves your growth. This is about two different frequencies coming together and becoming one. So this could be something you really, really love to do that maybe you felt like it ain't for me no more. Or someone that's at a distance from you. Trust in the plan. You're being blessed right now. There's nothing you have to do right now. Everything is going to fall into place for whatever it is you're trying to come together with or conceive and give birth to. Okay? You got great, good fortune on your side. All right, what other blessings does my pal three have? Listen to advice. Guidance is needed to cross the ocean of life. So you're being sent people and situations to help you on this journey. You're being blessed with, I feel like, advice coming from higher ups. Not necessarily physically, physical people, but spiritual advice. So when something seems synchronized, when something happens and you're like, hmm, what was that about? That is, take those as messages of advice. Um, Take those as signals and synchronicities. It's one of the things you're being blessed with. There's really not much you need to do but to sit in this position, <laughs> breathe, listen, and allow everything to flow. Your life is changing and it's no longer, I feel like it's no longer in your hands. You've done the work. Now the divine is at work. You could just focus over here in your career and giving birth to seeds and new dreams or, or actual beings because you're going to have a lot of good luck and fortune in that area. Okay. And your last blessing is in the castle of dreams. Become altered by the color of your dreams. I do feel you're being sent inspiration through your dreams. You're also, and your whole spread looks very dreamy, might I add. Very dreamlike. But I do feel like you're being beckoned to allow your dreams to be big and to truly feel them and live them. All right. In the castle of your dreams just makes me feel like you're safe and you're secure in your visions. All right. So I feel your overall final blessing is. The ability to take quantum leaps through your dreams. To really sit and allow yourself to dream. And to daydream. And in those visions, you are really, really bringing them into your reality. Whether you realize it or not, your dreams, 
your dream state, your visual, visual state is bringing you proper advice, epiphanies and guidance. And it's also changing things in your reality to match those dreams. There's something you are traveling to. You're coming together to, with your divinely being guided towards. And it's like everything that's happening at this time is leading you there. Everything from whatever you're supposed to be doing in your career to whoever you're supposed to be uniting with. It's all right now. The blessing is that it's all coming together just naturally. There's not much you have to do but rely on your good luck and fortune. Here's your blessing. Trust the plan. Trust the process. Oh, wow. Okay, three. Well, I hope that resonated with you and helped in some way. Gave you some clarity if you need more. Sign up for personal reading with me. I am still taking them at this time. I'll probably be stopping taking bookings for personal readings either in April or after April. As I'll be starting my second set of uh, two more workshops and um, I might not have too much time to schedule and I already, already have uh, personal readings that are subscribed. So, you know, if you want to book a one off, you know, let me know. Also, you could join Patreon. They get a lot of exclusives and extended readings. Um, yeah. Peace. Blessings. And all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. Later. Last but not least, Pal 4. You were drawn to the messages from the Ascended Masters. So let's see what they want to say first. So your first card is the Hawk. So you're being told to change your perspective. Perhaps you're not seeing things from an angle that makes them look tangible or possible. And um, you're being asked at this time to rise above, out of your situation, look at it from another angle. There's something you're missing. We have detox as well. Have you been feeling a little worn out? It's time to purge. Let go, release, and clear your energy. There's some things you need to take out of your schedule. Some people you need to remove out of your energy. And just some environments you need to really flip. Okay? We have cloudy. You're confused about some things. But really, just get out of your own way and have patience. Things are flowing. You see, when you're in the cloud, you need to become the hawk. Fly up above. See things from another level. But what's making you feel cloudy is that you still have a lot to purge. You still have a lot of things in your energy that you need to release. And these aren't just people. These are also um, thoughts and feelings. And lastly, you have loved ones and spirits. Your ancestors are coming through with this message for you right now. They're visiting. <laughs> your ancestors are visiting. It's time to heal old limiting beliefs and patterns. So that is what you're flying above. That's what you're detoxing. Old limiting beliefs and patterns. And your ancestors are coming through with this message for you today to help you with that process. So let's see what's your four blessings. So the first one you have is dark night of the soul. That's obvious that that's what you're going through right now. Dark night of the soul is when your inner child wounds come to the surface to be addressed and dealt with. So you being, this is a blessing, even though it might feel like a tumultuous time. It's really a blessing because it's giving you an, a chance to heal. You're being told to slow the hell down and heal. There's so much you need to detox, so many old feelings and thoughts that plague you that stem from deep within and it's time to acknowledge them so one of your blessings is that you have an angel here who's helping you helping you or sending you to where you can face these inner issues let them rise to the surface and let them go what else are you being blessed with rings of time i do feel like this has a lot to do with past it's a master number 44. Let me look in the book for this one. I'm going to push to the book. So it's about divine timing. And they said it's granted to us as a gift. So it may be something that you're seeing as, oh my God. But they want you to really look at it from a higher perspective. Sometimes you want to be further ahead than you really are. You know, or sometimes, you know, it's like traffic. It moves systematically. So only one car is going to be able to reach its destination 
according to how things are flowing and how it's in alignment with the flow. You can't take your car and just push past through all the cars and run through red lights. Sometimes things flow where you're just going through as many green lights as just all green lights all the way. But you're spiritually maturing at this time. You're doing healing work. And they're giving you time to rest and reflect. Okay? They want you to realize that the divine is control of every event coming to you when it is meant to come. So everything is taken care of for you at this point. Just breathe and let the divine happen as it will happen. So I do feel like there's some detoxing you need to do, some healing, some releasing, some letting go. Maybe you feel like you have to keep moving, 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 moving. You're going to find situations arising that are going to cause you to stop, to do spiritual work, and to rest and relax and reboot. These are blessings. Not a lot of people get opportunities to rest and relax. You're going to get something. I feel like some kind of money coming your way that you're not expecting. And there's going to be an opportunity to travel. Take that opportunity. I don't know where, but go. This makes me think of the ocean and flying up above. It just makes me think somewhere you're going to fly to. Okay. Return to joy. We are here to experience joy. You've been a little too serious lately, my powerfuls. So you're being blessed with some time to have fun. Just be in a state of happiness and joy. You see all of this darkness and clouds and, you know, fuzziness. You are being at giving a blessing of healing, of finding time to rest and reassess, to fly above the clouds and get some clarity when you need it by seeing things from a higher perspective and also getting a chance to do the things that are fun. You're going to have time, I really feel, to travel and do something just for you that brings you joy. Maybe you focus a lot of yourself on other people's happiness I get that too. You're going, going to find an opportunity where you are going to be focusing on your happiness. And last blessing, well of a time, your charge is to enlarge. So after you go through all of that, you see the light coming in? After you do all of this, the light's already coming in here in that blessing. Once you return to what makes you happy, you start to feel the healing of these wounds actually feeling like they're taking place. They're doing something. They're shifting things in your light and in your energy. And I'm going to read you well of a time. Let me see. Just makes me feel like having a good ass time celebrating. All right. It's like being in the belly of a whale. <laughs> But it's, it's a dark night of the soul. That's crazy how this book is saying dark night of the soul. And you have the card here in your layout. So let me continue. Most people think of the belly of the whale stage of this journey as a dark night of the soul. But it doesn't have to be. The key to finding joy in your connection with the whale aspect, whether you are in its belly or outside admiring it, is twofold. You have the ability to go with the flow and the potential to own your power. When you contemplate the nature of this loving ancient being we call well, envision swimming with it and receiving its wisdom and love, you are reminded that you are sovereign, wild, and free. The well is here to remind you that whenever you find yourself in a challenging circumstance, your charge is to enlarge. Your mandate is to become a heart space so large that all the world can fit within it. All parts of you and all parts of humanity with nothing left out. In the belly of the well, you're reminded to stop resisting and instead open and allow the diversity of life and the entire ocean of emotion of all sentiment being of all sentient beings to be celebrated and loved. So you're being blessed with multidimensional wisdom, intelligence and healing. <clears throat> you're going to feel a little bit more enlightened and that will make you. Open up your heart a lot more to allowing things to flow in and out as they need to. Very interesting blessings. Hmm. 
on that note, I want to thank you, my Pal Four, for being here, <laughs> for letting me, you know, be the one to let you know where you're being blessed. I don't know why I'm like sitting here feeling like there's something else I should be saying. Um, maybe Spirit wants me to give you guys one more thing. Let's see. Well, 22 wishes is sitting right here. So I want you guys to stick to the pile you chose. And for each pile, I'm going to give you a wish that's going to come true. Because I'm sure some of you heard your blessings and was like, how is that a blessing? Seeing something from another perspective, um, this, that, this, that, and all the other. But these things are blessings. Dark nights of the soul are blessings because some people don't even get they don't even get to go through them. And they sit and they suffer and wonder why they're suffering, you know, most of their life. Why they can't get over certain things. Why they certain people stay in their vibration that they no longer want in their vibration. It's because they don't do the inner child work. So here's your extra blessing on top of a blessing. My power ones. You are destined to be a star. OK, so if you're working on a project or you're doing something that you've been questioning, is it going to jump off? This is your confirmation that it will. And you are going to get a lot of success and attention because of it. OK, if you chose pal two, someone will ask you to marry them or want to discuss it very soon. So if you're looking for the one, you're with the one, just know that the next person that is going to come towards you will be the one. And um, if you're with someone already and they feel like the one, they're probably going to be talking to you about marriage soon. Now, whether or not that's what you want, I don't know, but that's what's coming in. Pile number threes, your beauty grows over time. Um, you may be worried about your appearance, your physical and stuff. You're being uh, getting a wish that you will always be very attractive. You will always be beautiful inside and out. And as you get older, rather than feeling it deteriorate, you're going to notice that you're going to increase in this beauty as time goes over time, as, as time goes forward. People will not know your age, put it that way. And my pal fours, your gifts are being enhanced now. So if you're gifted in any way, creatively, intuitively, uh, Academically, however you are gifted, you're going to get an extra boost at this time and feel an increase in that energy. Bottom of the deck for all of you is your kids will always be protected by source. So if you had any worries about your children and their progress in their lives moving forward, just know God got them. They're going to be all right. On that note, I want to bid everybody, I was going to say adieu. Adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you, but I'm a musical head, so that's expected. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to let you all go enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. Remember to like this video and please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We welcome you. We send light and love. And we're here for you along this journey. Bye.